Yvonne Orgy, welcome to the Daily Social Distancing Show. <laughs> it is my complete pleasure. Um, there are so many things I want to talk to you about today, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try put them I'm gonna put them together. We've got a book to talk about. I want to talk to you a little bit about Insecure. I want to talk to you about your stand up. Um, but first things first, I actually want to talk to you about dance like a Nigerian. This is a, a new a new trend that I saw you start on TikTok, and I want to know. I want to know, what are the fundamentals to dancing like a Nigerian? Well, as you saw from the TikTok video, you got to have the meme mug. If you don't have the, the, the face that looks like jollof rice is not well done, yeah, that, there you go. And you got, Trevor, I mean, you got to you gotta mean it. And then you got to shoulders and then it's uh -huh. hips. Hey, and you got to like, you know, just wind these small, small. Look at you, you're doing it, Uncle Trevor. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Because I, I, I was just wondering, I was like, I was like, is it the face? I was like, I feel like the face is important. I feel like the hands are important. The hips are doing the thing, you know? Yes, exactly. Like, literally, when I started, I was like, is this the thing? And then the more I was doing it, I was like, is this, is this, am I doing the right thing here? Can you feel, can you feel it? Am I becoming Nigerian as I'm doing it? And you are, and you have to have strong knees. It's all you about the knees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's why I quit. I realized my knees weren't strong enough to carry on, and, and so I stopped. Um, what is but welcome. Dance, what is the dance like a South African? What does that look like? Oh no, that one we can't do that on TV. Though that one is like, yeah, no, that's. <laughs> but let's talk about the book, Yvonne. Um, you know, a lot of people know you from Insecure. A lot of people know you from your stand-up, hilarious, hilarious, hilarious stand-up. But now I'm excited for people to learn about you as an author with your new book, which has one of the greatest titles I've ever seen: "Bamboozled by Jesus." Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me why you chose that title. Because, you know, when I was thinking about like my life and how God has taken me from the, the Nigerian standard of medical school or engineering to the Nigerian uh, anomaly of comedian, I, I think of that scene when Denzel, uh, I think was it, was it uh, the Spike Lee movie? And he was like, I mean, we've been bamboozled. It was Michael Metz. We've been bamboozled. Run amok, let us stray. And I'm like, yo, fam, I feel like God bamboozled me because I didn't have a background in comedy. And he was like, do comedy. And I was like, you don't know me. You don't know my life. And then I was like, well, maybe you do. And then to get to the other side of it where now I'm a, an Emmy-nominated actress on a comedy show and then right. have a comedy special. So, yeah, I think it fits. So when I thought about the title, I was like, bamboozled by Jesus. But then for the church people that may get mad at me, I had to have the subtitle how God tricked me into the life of my dreams. You've always been proud to talk about your religion and how it affects your life and where you're trying to go in the world. And like, you aren't one of those celebrities who only thanks God when you win an award, you know? And, and what I found really fascinating about it is, I was just like, man, I was like, Yvonne is really, really, really religious, but she's also really, really, really cool, which is not something that people always attach to religion. Why is religion so important in your life? So for me, I don't think fun and faith are oxymoron. Like, I, right. like, God and I, like, we cool, we kick it. He get on my nerves, I get on his nerves. It's like, it's fun, <laughs> it's fun really, but he, he knows who he made. And so for me, I'm able to have a relationship where he is like my best friend. And like with most best friends in real life, I mean, y'all watch the show, Issa and Molly, they're cool, they kick it, but they have beef. Um, and for as long as it took for my career to pop, I had I had a couple years of beef with Jesus. I was like, you know what, can you not talk to me? Can you not talk to me right now? Because nothing's working out. So, uh, so that I talk about that in the book about how you can have a real relationship that is fun, and you can right. invite him, bring him into every aspect of your life without having to compromise. You, you've you've done that seamlessly, in my opinion. You know, I mean, the book is fantastic. Even like the first line, just literally, you open a book and you see the, the line. If I paraphrase it, is you say, "I was I was born." holding my mom's IUD in my hand. I mean, already, it's just like, we're in, we're off to the races. And you, you know, you infuse religion, you talk about your life, you, you infuse Nigerian family stories. It, all, of, all of it is amazing. And, and, and I loved it because it gave me an insight into how you live your world, you know, what Insecure has done for you. What is the future for Yvonne? Because I mean, you're doing so many things and I know you're gonna be developing shows. What are you excited to do next? Uh, well, you know, you're hitting me at a very nostalgic moment right now. Tomorrow is my actual last day filming Insecure forever and wow. ever. Wow. So it is, yeah, I'm, I'm preparing my, my eye ducts for all the tears that will flow. Um, but it's been an amazing ride. Issa Rae is a gem of a human being. I owe so much to her. Um, and what's next? You know, I'm doing this show uh, that's going to be executive produced by David Yellow and of mm -hmm. one 
Creek uh, called First Gen. Uh, and it's going to be talking about the immigrant experience, you know, living the world with this dual experience, but not in the way where a lot of immigrant shows are like, we denounce the place we came from. And so we're right, going to. Right, right. Nah, because I'm like, there's a lot of good things about Nigeria. There's a lot of bad things about Nigeria. There's a lot of good things right. about America. A lot of not so great things about America. But I. Hold on, we're going to hold for a second. We've lost Yvonne. Uh oh. Can you see me? Oh, no, they can't see no, me. No, no, we can't see you, but we can hear you. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, so. Wait, did you just switch cameras on me? We did. We had to because I don't know what's going on with the first one. So here we are. Like, you know, there's there's parts of of making a show in a pandemic that I'm I'm going to miss, and then there are many parts that I won't. But I I now I'm fascinated by where you are. Like, what is that chair? This is, is it this a chair. Is, it's a chair, but I got it. I did a whole setup for my book tour driver because I'm not doing it. I love it. So I bought this like huge green crushed velvet situation. I love it. Created like a seven foot backdrop of my book cover. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you know? Why wouldn't I? As 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 you as you prepare to say goodbye to Insecure, you know a lot of people are going to be sad because it told stories in 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 a style that so few of us have seen before, and it allowed black women to be black women unapologetically in every shape and form that they beautifully exist in. I'd love to know what you are going to miss most about Insecure. Like, obviously, it changed your life as a person, but I'm saying as a show and as a story, what are you going to miss most? Trevor. It's very rare that you get to, as a black female actress, work in on a show that is literally created for you by folks who look like you and are supported. Um, you know, in these last couple of days, you know, me, Jay, Issa, we we even looking at each other like, this is the can we repeat this? Like, does this happen? And like, what's next for us? Like, you know, like right. when you when you when your first when the first meal you eat is no boo, you can't go back to you, know, <laughs> you can't go to, like just regular seaweed. You're like, no, where's the sliced uh, yellowtail? You're like, it's we our palate was heightened and we came out the you know came out the gate hot and with good people and with a phenomenal home in HBO. So we're all kind of looking at each other like, I mean, I know we got other stuff to do next, but like, will we ever have this again? And I think for me, that's a special thing to have the camaraderie, to have like the friendship. So I'm, I'm going to miss everything. There's, I can't take one thing out because they're all part of the equation. And I don't want to start crying on your show, Trevor. I'm just, I'm trying to keep it light. Okay. I'm trying to keep it light. We keep it light. We save the tears for your last day on filming. And uh, we, can't, we can't wait to see what the next season's going to be like. Congratulations on the new book. Congratulations on the on the television show you're developing with Disney Plus. Congratulations on Insecure. We thank you. It was such a pleasure. And I want to see your TikTok video on how to dance like a Nigerian. Oh. This week. You know, you know I got this, huh? You know it's coming, huh? You gotta do the face. You don't you don't think it's coming? It's coming, huh? Don't worry about me, Yvonne. It's coming, huh? <laughs> I'm so done. I'm feeling like, bye, bye. Take bye, care, bye, girl. Bye. Bye. bye.